Okay, good morning. The idea here is to show you a couple features of the setup of the uh, Apollo SL60 GPS COM and the Apollo MX20 uh, MFD moving map display. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that we're uh, we're down here on the Unicom frequency for Metal Lake Airport, uh, KFly in Colorado Springs. On standby, I've got the ATIS for Colorado Springs. I don't have a plan in right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that I want to go direct to Wichita, Kansas, so I hit direct, and over here you'll notice that it's flashing COS, but where I want to go is ICT, so I'm going to take the knob, the small knob, I'm going to rotate it until I get to I, big knob goes to the next one, C, T, shows up as Wichita now, press enter on that, and all of a sudden we get an indication on our GPS indicator, our MC60, it's telling me that I need to bear 091 for 352 nautical miles. You'll notice that the screen up on the MX60 has just picked up the uh, GPS signal. It's telling us uh, where we're going. First thing I want to do is I want to walk you through one of the features on the SL60. And that is we're going <clears> to <throat> make sure that uh, I show you the COM. When you press COM, it goes back and it shows you the frequencies that we're on. Standby frequency. If you wanted to monitor this frequency at the same time as this one, press COM again and that goes to the letter M, which means monitor. So now we're listening to both of these frequencies at the same time. Press it again, it goes back to S, means that this one's in standby for switching back and forth between those two frequencies. But again, it's still showing us on the GPS side that we're bearing 091 to Wichita, 352 nautical miles. If I go to the nav side, now it says estimated time and route Wichita, since we're not moving, it's nulled out. Bearing still 091, 352, but watch this, hit the info button, it'll tell you a little bit more about Wichita. You can use the small button to rotate through. It tells you Wichita Mid-Continent, bearing 091352, <clears throat> all, the, all the frequencies you want like ATIS, approach, all your approach frequencies, tower frequency, ground frequency, clearance delivery, departure, Unicom, ILS frequencies for the, if you want to shoot the ILS, <clears throat> for all the runways, Available fuel, what they have on the field. It tells you how long the runways are, 10,300. It's a hard ILS. It's lit. It tells you lat long. All kinds of instruments. But let me show you one real neat feature. Let's say we wanted to talk, we wanted to get the ATIS, 12515. If you have this in here, if you come back over to this switch, it automatically loads that frequency. So anything that you select over here, if you hit the flop button, it'll now take that frequency and load it up for us. Now let's walk up here to the MX60 for just a second. Let's take a look at it. You hit the function key, and it's going to bring up uh, some options for us. We can bring up an IFR map. <clears throat> Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see what we're looking at. You'll know that we're inside of Colorado Springs Class C. We're actually at the, uh, the ridge for the surface to uh, the top of the Class C. <clears throat> we'll change this map back to a VFR map. And we'll do the pan feature, which allows us to kind of move the map around. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a small state change here, just so that we can kind of see where we're at on the map. Now you can see this line drawn, and then we'll zoom out a little bit more, so you can see that on the VFR map, we're actually going over to Wichita, Kansas. We'll drop this down again, now you can see the magenta line drawn over here from Metal Lake or from where our current position at least over to Wichita you can see the Denver Class B hiding up in here and of course the mountains are showing up over here it's says white that means it's a you know good place for us to avoid if we uh, don't want to climb any. <clears throat> now one more feature inside of here go back to function <clears throat> hit it again to go to the next screen this is on screen one of two so we're going to go to screen two of two you can do a split feature. Split feature takes this and gives us half IFR, half terrain, or we can change this from IFR terrain. Maybe we want IFR and sectional. Hit this. You can get rid of terrain. It'll turn it off. Now you can go to VFR map. And now you're getting half IFR, half VFR map. Pretty nice feature of this. So let's go back into our function screen. And we'll change our map back to the VFR map. And then let's go into the second screen of the function screen. 
and look at FPL, that stands for Flight Plan. That's showing you the information for what we just loaded from the GPS below. Now we're going to Wichita, 352.9 nautical miles on a bearing of 091. Current center frequency we'd be talking to is Denver at 128.37. This would be our current nav data. Of course, we're not moving. And you'll notice that we are GPS direct to Wichita, and the waypoint info is Wichita Mid-Continent. And again, the frequencies start to show up, and if you check on info, which is this soft key here, it will now show you the rest of those frequencies up here as well, including the ILS frequencies, and it has a runway graphic showing you what the runways look like, and information about the runways, how long they are. So back to that screen. Uh, one more thing I want to show you on the VFR map. There's also a soft info key here. If you press that, you'll notice that you get the same information you just had on that other screen. There's a little down arrow soft key over here. Again, that scrolls through that information while keeping you on the map. Also shows you the runway graphic. And back to the runway links and uh, uh, orientation. So, nice little feature. You can turn that back off uh, using the MX-20 and the uh, SL-60 for IFR and VFR navigation. I uh, just want to give you a little tour. See you guys.